Intel Core i9-11900K processor will have a maximum frequency of 5.3 GHz. Some time ago, the results of testing the flagship processor of the Rocket Lake S family in the game Ashes of the Singularity hit the network. Then it turned out that the base frequency of the processor is 3.5 GHz. Unfortunately, information about the clock speed in boost mode remained unknown until now. According to Twitter user David Bupo, the flagship Rocket Lake S processor has a maximum clock speed for a single 5.3 GHz thermal velocity boost core. Sources also report that the processor has a TVB frequency for all cores of 4.8 GHz. While the maximum frequency for a single processor core is identical to the flagship 10th gen Core i91090K chip, the frequency of all cores is actually 100 MHz lower. The Core i91190K supposedly has a maximum power level of the PL1 of 125 watts and the PL2 of 250 watts, which also matches those of the current generation flagship chip. The PL1 PL2 power level for the rest of the Rocket Lake S processor line remains unknown. User David Bobo also reports that thermal velocity boost may still be exclusive to the Core i9 series. Another Twitter user at Haruke's 5719 has summarized the specs of the upcoming processors based on the latest rumors in the table below. Intel has several different overclocking technologies. For example, Thermal velocity boost should only be available for the Core i9 series, while the Core i7 should support Turbo Boost Max 3.0. An alleged image of Intel's Rocket Lake S processors was posted last month. There are no visible markings on the processors, so it is impossible to determine if they are real. Intel's Rocket Lake S processor family uses a new core design called Cypress Cove. Although they are still built on a 14 nanometers process, this will be Intel's first architecture other than the Skylake generation that came out back in 2015. The new line will also be the first for Intel to support PCI Express 4.0 and the first to feature integrated graphics. The 11th Gen Core series will be compatible with existing Wilga 1200 motherboards after a BIOS update. Intel is also working with partners to unveil 500 series motherboards early next year. This is expected to be Intel's last platform to support DDR4 RAM, as the company aims to release Alder Lake S series with Lega 1700 socket and DDR5 support by the end of the future of the year.